Time is the inexplicable raw material of everything. With it, all is possible. Without it, nothing. It is yours. It is the most precious of possessions. No one can take it from you. It is unstealable. And no one receives either more or less than you receive. Genius is never rewarded by even an extra hour a day. You can only waste the passing moment. You cannot waste tomorrow. It is kept for you. You cannot waste the next hour. It is kept for you. You have to live on this 24 hours of daily time. Out of it, you have to spend health, pleasure, money, content, respect, and the evolution of your immortal soul. Time management. Let me give you just a few tips on time management essentials. First of all, you run the day or it runs you. A little simple analysis. It's not that difficult to get something started and you run it for a while and after a while it starts running you. The time you've already committed to labor is enough time. If you're working already eight, 10 hours a day, that's about it. You just can't work much more than that. Uh, bursts at a time, you can work 12, 14, 16, right? You know, I'm sure we've all learned to do that, put in the extra time. But after a while, you pretty well have to put your life in balance or your health is in jeopardy and your heart's in jeopardy. So you don't have to put in any more hours. All you have to do is just make better use of the hours. It's not the hours you put in. It's what you put in the hours that counts. Also, you need a written set of goals, time management essential priorities and a constant review of your goals because that's how you determine how to use your time whatever priorities you're going for then you need a plan to achieve your goals another key is learning to separate majors from minors making sure you don't spend major time on minor things this is why you need to think on paper put your game plan on paper to make sure you're not spending major time on minor things. A little phrase I have says, don't mistake movement for achievement. It's easy to stay busy, right? The key is on what? Next time management essential is concentration. Zeroing in, preoccupation is fatal. Both on the freeway and in business. You've got to keep your mind concentrated. I have a little rule that says, don't start the business day till you get to the office. I used to start my business day in the shower or at the breakfast table, and it just messed up a lot of things. But sure enough, when I'm in the office, I'm uh, thinking about the beach. And when I'm on the beach, I'm saying I should be at the office. Now see, that's mixed up, right? Wherever you are, be there. If you're at the breakfast table, be there. When you're having a conversation with somebody, be there. When you're on your way to work, be there. When you get to the office, go for it. Next time management essential is learn to say no. Boy, it's easy to overload your calendar, get yourself into all kinds of time management problems simply because you didn't have the strength to say no when you should have said no. It's much more difficult to say no and then try to get out of it later, call back, make the arrangements, uh, go through the whole embarrassment. Better to say no than to say yes and have to back out. Don't let your mouth overload your back. That's good. The next time management essential is when you work, work, when you play, play. That one I learned the hard way. See, if you're going to put in a day, just put in the whole day. And if you're going to take some time off, take it all off. Or take the whole day off. Now, part of this depends on what you do and depends on your work schedule and the job you have and the business you have, right? I understand that. Everything we're talking about needs to be altered and monitored and worked around to fit your particular situation. I understand that. I have a builder friend of mine up in San Jose. His name is Peter Paulson. Uh, Peter's got it down pat. Peter works a week and takes off a week. That's the way he's got it arranged. He's a builder. He says, work a week, take off a week. Yeah. So, uh, but what Peter does, the five days he puts in, he works, you know, 14, 16 hours, almost around the clock, keeps two or three secretaries going, gives all the orders, the accountants, the superintendents, the builders, the whole thing, gets it all arranged, and works around the clock for five days, and then goes, takes off. 
You might not have the luxury of being able to uh, do it that way, but uh, just work on this. When you work, work. When you play, play. The next time management essential is analyze how you are and then either compensate for it or change. Sometimes you can remain how you are if you just make other arrangements. My staff discovered I'm a poor courier. They said, Mr. Owen, here's a check for Jerry Haynes. I say, yeah, no problem. Give it to me. I'll see that he gets it. Guess when I next hear about that check? From my cleaners. Hey, Mr. Owen, we found this, right? Now, I say, look, I know I messed up that time, but, you know, next time I'll make sure. So you just got to analyze how you are and then make the compensations for it. Now, you can promise to change all you want, right? But if you're not going to, then make the other arrangements. I finally got somebody to help take care of reading financial statements and taking care of, you know, a lot of corporate business and matters that I promised I would do myself, but I just never did get it done. But I finally got somebody to take care of that. So if you're not going to change, see, if you're not going to do it, even though you promise yourself year after year, just then make arrangements to see that it gets done. Just save yourself all the grief of promising, promising, and never doing it. So analyze how you are. That's very important. Next time management essential is beware of the telephone. Beware of the telephone, a useful tool, but it can also get you into trouble. We got a little careless one time for a period of time. The telephone bill got up to 12000 a month. In California, I mean, that wasn't international, that was here. Telephone on time management. Here's one way to use the telephone. Make sure you make an agenda before you make a call. Make a little list of what you're going to talk about before you call. Don't try to think and, and call out of your head. But if you don't have this agenda, you, you wander around, wander around, talk about all kinds of things that probably aren't essential. And then you have that at the end of the telephone conversation, you say, let's see, there was something else I was going to talk to you about. I can't think of it right now. If I think of it, I'll call you back. See, you just, great time waster. Now, you got to beware of the telephone at home, too. Now, you might have to have some business calls at home, but you got to be very careful. The phone can be an incredibly disturbing influence on family and social, personal life. So learn to regulate that. I also found out when you got teenagers, they got to have a phone. Because the teenagers can't use the adult's phone. Otherwise, you become a message courier, and they stay on the phone. Otherwise, the parents become the answering service for the teenagers. <laughs> so put the telephone thing together. Next, time management essential is uh, have a certain time to solve problems. We found that helpful, especially in, in the business world. We say problems after three. Just set them aside. Now, you don't ignore them, but you just set them aside in a certain time frame. All the problem calls, you just call back after three o'clock and just go right through them. Now, also, in setting them aside till three o'clock, problem comes in at nine o'clock. And you say, hey, three o'clock, Mr. Rohn's going to get on the phone and make all these problem calls, right? Call back all these answers. Guess what usually happens between nine and three? Somebody calls back and says, hey, tell him not to call. We've already got it worked out. But see, if you take that call when it comes, sure enough, now you've got to spend time, spend time. We learn in sales training. People all ask questions, ask questions. You say, hey, save that till training class. Bring that question to training class. You just learn those time-saving things so you don't have to cover the same things with each person. Next on time management is read all the books. Just get you some ideas on time management from the books. So that's where you get the answers, because everybody's got tailor-made situations that need different answers. So just read them all. Next time management essential is be more alert. Part of the alertness is not only what's going on, but also be alert to looking at all your present procedures. You may have some old outdated procedures, stuff you've been doing for five years, and it's taken 10 hours instead of one. You could put it on a computer or something. You just, you know, go through, because it's easy to just accumulate a lot of wasted time, wasted motion by not, you know, updating all of your stuff. So be alert as to those kind of time wasters. The last one here is ask questions. When you get ready to talk to somebody, ask some questions. It might save you a great deal of time. Because it's easy to talk to somebody for an hour and then discover you've been on the wrong subject. Or maybe you're talking to the wrong person. <laughs> Say, who are you? Oh yeah, John, I forgot. You're talking about somebody else's problem. No. Ask questions, you know, then you can get right to the heart of the matter. And then after you've asked a couple of questions, ask a couple of more. 
Make sure you learn that in management. Most people at first don't disclose the real problem. They disclose the surface problem. Sometimes the real problem is the problem. I says, well, I got some problems at home. So, oh, that's why you're not getting it. See, just a couple of questions and you just save yourself an hour. You save yourself talking too long about the wrong things just by asking the questions. And game plans, laying out six months, laying out a year. When you do business internationally, you just got to have game plans to lay all this stuff out. Otherwise, it just doesn't get done. Things get missed. The details don't get taken care of. You've got to learn to think on paper. And if there's one thing under time management we can get across that's major, uh, that one is it.